Howdy folks and welcome back. Today I'm going to sh show you how to switch out a light switch. This one works, but it's white and it also has a lighted switch. And so they don't want that in the bedroom. This is normally for mechanical room, garage, um, any dark room that you want to go into that you normally can't find a light switch for. Um, so what I'm going to do is <clears throat> I'm going to take this out. I haven't turned the power off to it yet because I want to show you how this actually works and how the electricity is fed to this switch. And so I'm going to take this switch out. You want to be careful that it's not wires aren't broken. And so you want to be gentle with it. Now some of these switches do have grounds, but this is an older home, and so it's not going to have, it shouldn't have, a ground per se for this switch. So, and it doesn't. Okay, so one of these has to be hot, and it's usually the bottom one. Where in this case... There it is. Okay, so we have power to the switch. But once you flip this, now this particular switch, when you flip it, this light will come off. And so when you flip it, now you've connected or completed the circuit. So it goes from here through because you flipped the toggle and now you have it on this side and so you have your light come on off on let me turn this off I don't think you can see that off nothing here flip it on okay so we're gonna go ahead and change this out but what I want to do first before I start to fool with these wires is I'm gonna turn this circuit off so usually the circuit is this room and maybe a couple other outlets or another switch in an adjoining room. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the outlet and I have a sensor that I can use at the breaker box. And so it's a transmitter and I'll show you in a bit. Let me turn this off. You got to make sure that everybody in the house, if there's people around that they don't come in here and actually turn this on so and if there is what I would do is put it back together so they don't come around the corner and touch it and I think it's better that way now if you're here by yourself Sometimes it's okay, but if you're running out to the breaker and somebody comes into the house and comes into the room, they're going to get zapped. So just put your plate back on. Get this here. Okay. Here we go. And so you want to protect everybody, right? Better safe than sorry. Just just cover it. It's better than yelling at the kids and everybody else in the house. All right? And I'm doing no good anyway. Okay. <clears throat> so we got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that sensor in the outlet. And then we're going to go out to the breaker. And we're going to make sure this is off. Okay. So this is my sensor. I'm going to plug this in. Yeah, I think you can see that now. And that's my transmitter. So this will transmit a signal through the current, through the circuit, I mean. And then this will pick the, this will actually pick up the signal at the other end. And at the breaker box is where we're going now. 
Okay, so we're at the breaker box, and we want to turn this up till it starts to make noise, and we want to back it off until it only picks up on one breaker. If it doesn't pick up on any, it means that we've turned it down too much. There we go. See that? Perfect. So let's turn it down some more. Too much. Perfect. Isolated. This is it. Okay. Should be turned off now.